All right, continuing. So that's my last layer. The match is starting to drop. Now I'm dropping the match a little bit more. So it means I turn off the match underneath. And I might increase these effects a little bit. And how do I copy that effect? I go to layer style, I copy, and then I paste it. There we go. So it was like that. Now it's like this. Now the book, I think I'm going to make this shadow a little bit darker now on the head because the match now is lighting it. And then the book, I'm going to get rid of all effects just by turning that eyeball off. So it's going to look darker. And then my expression, let me see. I don't want to go to the met expression yet. I'm going to do another duplicate of happy. But I'm now going to affect the eyes, not just the mouth. And maybe I can just flip those vertically. Yeah, that works. So that will be my next frame, from this to this. Kind of bewildered, wondering what's happening. So how do I put them all together? Go to my topmost visible layer, hold down shift, scroll down to the very base layer, hold down option, go to layer, merge layers. Boom. Command A to copy, uh, select it all. Command C to copy it all. Click on my stage. Command <coughs> V to paste it all in. And there we go. Sometimes it delays for a second, so make sure you're not pasting in duplicates. There we go. Command S to save it. Now I'm going to hit go back to my assets, Command D to deselect and then delete. Now I'm going to drop that match one more time. Just using my move tool. And I might even duplicate it on itself so it's a little bit brighter. And maybe let's try overlay so it's a little bit brighter on the inside as well as it goes down. Boom. And now let's see what else do I need to do. I'm going to change the mouth expression. Now I don't actually need to duplicate because I have all the assets I need. I can just turn off this happy mouth and turn on this meh mouth. <laughs> See, what meh mouth do I want? I want the most neutral one. Maybe like that. And I'm going to deepen this shadow. From there to there. So I'll go to my topmost layer, scroll down to the bottom. Hold down shift, they're all selected. Hold down option, layer, merge layers. Command A to select it all, Command C to copy it all, Command V to paste it all in. Now I have to start thinking like an animator a little bit who might have a mirror next to their desk and they would kind of see how a matchstick would fall and hit a book. They probably wouldn't light it. 
but I'm going to deselect, delete. Because the matchstick hits here, it's going to tilt down. This might be a little bit too specific, but I'm going to duplicate it. Come on. There we go, and then merge those two together. And now, oh, Option Command T, not just Command T. I'm going to distort and just tilt it like that. So you see how the flame stays in the same place and even grows a little bit? It's weird that the match head warped oddly. Don't love that. Let me see. Yeah, it's all right. And I'm going to put a shadow underneath it. So how can I do that? Drop shadow time. I haven't used this layer style before. Play with the distance. Play with the opacity. And the angle. Ooh, look what it's doing. That's so cool. I love layer styles and animation. All right. And that's going to be the start of my smoke. And I'm going to get the eyes now to look worried. Oh, this is an interesting thing that happened. That's annoying. Uh, because I set the drop shadow at a different angle, because use global angle was checked, it also changed the angle of my other drop shadow effect on the head. So I'm going to just set it back to its default, which is 90. And then I'm going to uncheck use global angle so I can set it differently for my match than for the, uh, the head. Okay. Good. Now, what if I want a little bit of a glow on the book? Again, I'm going to do outer glow this time. But I'm going to use a different mode, like overlay. And you can see how the color is now starting to spill onto the book. And maybe I make it a little bit oranger. Just a little. These subtleties will make a lot of sense when you see them moving next to each other. All right, so that's my next frame. Select the topmost layer, hold down shift, scroll down to the base layer. Boom, they're all selected. Hold down option, layer, merge layers. Select all, command A, command C, copy. Go to my stage, command V, paste in. And gosh, I'm still at this stage. It's too much, too much subtlety between these graphics, but it's fun. All right, now time to just not be subtle, right? Because you can spend forever working between frames. So now I just want flames to erupt. So I can keep my match there. I'll make a duplicate of it, but this time it's going to be 
a color overlay that makes it quite a bit darker. Right. So there we go. And I'm going to turn off. Well, let's move the drop shadow a little bit further. And let's spread it out. Nope, let's not spread it out. Let's size it. There we go. Okay, now I want to add some of my fire effects. So I have my base orange flames. Haha, -ha. there they are. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I only want to use part of it, which is this. Right. And then I can go ahead and paste or copy the layer styles from my match. Layer styles are just a lot of fun, but you're not required to use them. And then paste them on to my flames and then adjust them. So take away the color overlay and play with the outer glow. Maybe add an inner glow to really make these flames a little bit stronger. And I can add a gradient overlay. of different flame colors like red and orange and maybe something bright so it's a good way to start playing with these overlays and these layer styles And I can give it a satin fill too. Let's see. Let's change that color though to a deep red. What happened? What happened? <laughs> oh, I think I accidentally. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> accidentally clicked on my history. All right. Now I'm really going to darken that shadow on the head. And I'm going to do a cast shadow on the book. So drop shadow now on the book. and play with a little bit of a color overlay on the book so it starts to darken as well. Maybe I'll dim this color overlay on the match. So I'm just playing a lot with layer styles here. And then I want to change the expression. I'm just going to make the eyes change. from my different met eyes. I'm going to take the cheeks down more. All right, so that's my next one. And then the next frame, it's just going to be Rampaging fire. Oh, I think I need to move my match down just the last bit, just with the move tool. Ah. Option Command T. And I'm going to move its drop shadow to be closer. So the more you worry about these things, the more you'll have to do. 